Okay, so you have an ester and it's treated with Grignard reagent that is taken in excess. Acidification in the step B, you have to write down the product. So you have an acid, oh no, ester. So this is an ester. And this ester is treated with Grignard reagent, H+. Plus. Grignard reagent is taken in excess and then you have to write down the final product. So let me see how many of you can do this one, easy one. Yeah, you see in the case of ester, so you have a Grignard reagent, this will attack, opens up, this goes. So the first product is pH CH2, C double bond O CH3. Because this will nucleophilic acyl substitution will take place, this CH3 attacks and this goes. And the next step again CH3 minus can attack here. And you will have this. So you will have, after acidification, you will have pH CH2 COH. CS3, CS3. So you will get basically a tertiary alcohol, 3 degree alcohol. And in this case you have 2 mole of CS3. 1 CS3 in the faster step, this releases and the next CS3. So you see two, re two reactions happening. Faster step is nucleophilic acyl substitution. So faster step is nucleophilic acyl substitution are getting and now the next step is nucleophilic addition so this is this goes here and this so the next step is nucleophilic addition and that's why you have two CH3 group that is attached so in this case you see two CH3 group attached two CH3 group gets attached are getting or not now let us discuss this reaction I think all of you are able to understand this last one so this is a tertiary alcohol because you are getting a carbon that is connected to the 3 carbon. In this case 2 mole of CH3 had attacked first mole, attacks and this leaving group goes. Second times when it attacks, this is a nucleophilic addition reaction, 1-2 addition. H plus I have taken in the next step. So final product is a 3 degree alcohol. Let us write down the product in this reaction. So you have an alcohol, no oh sorry acid. This acid react with PCl5 and then compound A further reacts with ammonia. And the product let us call is product B. B further reacts with P2O5 and this gives C6H5Cn. And finally, hydrogenation has been done, H2A9 in the presence of hydrogen and nickel, this gives C. So you have to identify A, B, C. So let us take some time. Okay, so you see, you have an acid and is treated with PCl5. To acid to acid chloride, there are two ways to prepare. One way to use SOCl2. So this is same as, if I use PCl5, this is same as using SOCl2. So what will happen, acid will be converted into acid chloride. So A is, so A is simple. 
you will have RCO, CA, CL. So pH, CO, CL. Now next step, NH3. So this NH3 will act as a nucleophile now. NH3 will act as a nucleophile. So this will attack this open up the transbox CL goes. So finally we will have an amide. So B will be an amide. PHCO NH2. Now a step third that is a P2O5. P2O5 acts as a dehydrating agent. So we will have if you lose H2O. So we will have PHC triple bond N. And this is given to you. This is basically not C. You see here. P2O5 the molecular formula is C6H5CN. So molecular formula of C6H5CN and this is not C. So you see this molecular formula C6H5CN. Now further if you do a reduction with H2NI so this will be converted so this two double bond will be added by hydrogen so you will have CH2NH2. So the product D will be PHCH2NH2. So we will get a primary amine. So final product is a primary amine. So from acid to primary amine you can follow these steps to get primary amine from the acid. Are you getting or not? So these are the simple problems they have already asked in JE. So simple problems are also asked in JE sometimes. And these days they are always asking only the simple problems. Fundamental problems. No hi-fi. If you have the fundamental ideas, no problem. Let us discuss the next problem.